Well, let me start with this. What do you, what do you think of marketing? Like, how would you describe it to, to your mom? So it's interesting that you ask that because of some training that I've been doing lately, which has slightly changed my answer to that question in, in the in the old days. I would have said marketing's job, actually the, the, the job is the same. Marketing's job is to capture people's attention and drive leads or appointments or some type of interested people for the sales team or the sales process. Maybe there's not a sales team of human beings. Maybe it's just a sales process to then turn into customers. So in my, that, that's what I feel marketing is. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, that's better, better definition than most. <laughs> um, and, and, and part of the reason I bring it up is because I believe that outside of uh, the marketing world, uh, most business people, and certainly, you know, like my mom, um, think of marketing as the last Super Bowl ad she saw, or mm -hmm. I just posted on LinkedIn today. I'm not sure when this is going to run, but so last week, the, the Olympics uh, just wrapped up and, yep. and I found it insane that Toyota was spending millions of dollars on advertising when if you walked into a Toyota dealership, you couldn't buy a car because they don't have any. Yeah. So, you know, I think most people think of marketing as advertising. I do think that advertising is one way you can achieve the goal that you define pretty well. But yeah, you're right. I think it's getting, you know, getting getting your company and what you can do and the problems you can solve in front of other people that might have a relevant problem. Um, so so then, uh, you know, how how is that working for you or or feel free to you know, uh, step in the shoes of one of your audience's uh, members. But uh, yeah, how how's it working? How's marketing working for you? So another very good question for us, because Flowster is a very young company, and we really only started to market the company, actually not even market, to conduct market research for the company about six months ago or so. And, and, and the reasons for that are beyond the scope of this, so I won't dive into it, but essentially our core, our core target customer is evolving. And because the customer that we started out with, um, had, they, they didn't turn out to be ideal for a variety of reasons, again, that are, that are not too terribly important for this. Predominantly though, they were, a lot of very early stage startup entrepreneurs who didn't have the cash flow to be able to pay for the software on an ongoing basis. So churn was an issue. So um, marketing for us has up to this point consisted more of market research than, and when I say market research, I'm talking about SEO experiments. I'm talking about advertising experiments. The last two or three weeks, I've been deep, deep, deep in the weeds and getting some really great results. Um, and then once the experimentation, what I'll call the data, data gather, God, I can't talk today. Data gathering process has been not completed because it's never completed, but got to a point where we can quote unquote turn on marketing. By that point, given the methodology that I'm following, I'm, I'm quite sure the results will be spectacular. Yeah, no, oh, that's great. Um, do you have like a dedicated social media person? We do. We, we do. Yes. Um, so we, there's obviously many ways that people can get their brand out there. We do both organic, a lot of content creation like this. Mm -hmm. um, and so my dedicated social media person is one of my employees and a team of virtual assistants that he works with that will take this piece of content as an example and chop it all up into little itty bitty pieces and clips and it'll get spread all over Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram. And I'm forgetting what are the, all the other platforms that we're on, but all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, so as to enhance the reach of this one piece of content. And that's, that's a part of that individual's job. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. And, and again, the reason I ask is, so the, the biggest myth I think in marketing is that it's just ads. And, and, and the reason that I think it is perceived that way is because that's where most brands spend their money. You know, to, Toyota is not spending a lot of money creating um, helpful buying guides to electric vehicles because they're, they're not, you know, uh, they're, they're pushing out ads <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and it's, you know, it's a way more expensive way to do it. The, um, I think I just saw a stat that the average return on investment for a Facebook ad is 0.94, which means 
that the average advertiser on Facebook loses six cents for every dollar they spend. Mm -hmm. um, and that's true, I think, of, of, of a lot of the marketing activities out there. So, so the second myth that I like to bust is um, that the first thing you need to do is hire a social media person. And the way that I like to, and again, I, this is kind of behind the curtain. I wouldn't normally go this deep with a, with a normal prospect kind of, but, uh, but you know, social media drives 3% of traffic on average to a B2B um, and, and specifically, uh, you know, software technology sites. Um, paid programs only drive about another 5% on average. And so all of the rest of the traffic that is generally coming to a website like yours uh, is coming organically. And so the reason we do what we do is we try to, you know, we think the number one thing that you should do as a company is to fire up that organic engine mm -hmm. because unlike advertising, uh, you know, the second you stop spending on advertising, the results that you were get, if you were getting any drop to zero, but with organic, um, you, you're basically building audience like you've done with this podcast and, and, you know, you're setting an appointment with your audience. They know that something is coming, they're getting value out of it and that's why they engage. And, and so, you know, that's really what we do with, um, you know, with our clients. And so, you know, this is the segment of the, of the play or the movie, if you will, where I, you know, kind of get into how we do that. Um, but, uh, you know, but again, it's all back to busting this myth that, you know, marketing isn't just advertising. It really should be about, earning trust with people, gaining their attention, not by promoting what you sell, but by, by giving them something of value first. Now, let um, me jump in if, if I may and ask you a question. So for yeah. the folks, and, and I put myself in this category, for the folks whose company is early enough in their lifespan that they're not exactly sure who their ideal customer is, because many of us make and sell things that could be used by a wide swath of people, but trying to sell it to a wide swath of people is akin to boiling the ocean and it's very yeah. expensive and very ineffective. So do you, are you advocating that uh, SEO and content marketing, which is more or less what we're talking about today yeah. is an effective strategy for identifying who your most likely and most probable buyer is? Uh, or do you think that there is a, a precursory strategy that needs to be done so that you're like, well, I, I kind of have a pretty solid idea that, that in my case, my target audience is going to be marketing agencies. Now I can start creating content that I have a, um, that is more probable or more likely to resonate with them. Cause I kind of know who the audience is going to be already. Yeah, we, um, we so I have I have two funny articles I've written that were sort of snarky. Um, one was banner ads have ninety nine problems and a click ain't one um, <laughs> because of because of some of the stats that I mentioned point zero five click through rates. Um, but the second one is right to your to your question, and it was personas are great except when they suck. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I'm actually friends with some folks that all they do is they work with companies to build out you know detailed personas. And how do you reach your target audience? How do you identify your target audience and find them where they live? Um, and and I'm not saying that there's anything bad about that because an effective and and in for for the folks I know, it's a pretty extensive deep dive into into the the worlds that, that these companies live in. Um, but the net result of it is almost always what what some of us in the industry call an intent an intent profile or a buyer profile it's an interest profile so while you're looking for a type of person what you end up finding isn't the type but what they're interested in yeah. and so I'll, I'll give you an example right um it's not easy for me because i'm trying to sell to marketers it's not easy for me to find marketers or startup founders um but what i can find is marketers and startup founders that are struggling with growth or struggling with roi or have, you know, don't want to waste money on ads, you know, so there's, there's specific kinds of, of things that I know I can speak to. Um, and we call that buyer intent or interests, uh, that will attract the right person. Um, you know, I, one of the things I learned in running a, a pretty extensive multi-million dollar cost per lead program, when I worked at software company SAP was, um, and, and I, I used to have the way I said this down, but it was that targeted buyers do not engage with targeted content. So for example, if we said, Hey, retailers, here's a piece of content for you. Retailers didn't click. Mm -hmm. But if we wrote in a, a, a deep 
you know, white paper or article about um, e-commerce. Well, that's something that retailers care, care about or customer experience. Well, that's something that retailers care, mm-hmm. care about. When we targeted specific industries or specific demographics or specific firmographics, we didn't, we, we struggled to find them. And, and the, the consumer sort of corollary to that is we're all people <laughs> is, you know, when we see something that's targeted to us, we hide from it. We don't want to be targeted. Nobody wants to be targeted. Mm -hmm. But when we see something that generally speaks to the concerns that we have, the things that keep us up at night, that's when we engage. Mm -hmm. 